One thing I love about having a Tacoma is just how awesome it is to load up your gear and then go out and do something fun. So far this winter, these ATXs with the studs have been really impressive. The Dobinson's two and a half inch lift. You can see here, we don't get any rub on the back, but the front, that's where we get a little bit of rub with the 285s. These ATXs studded have actually been amazing this winter. It's like combining the best of both worlds of having a dedicated winter tire that's like studded. I've run those in the past and they were, they were great of course, but I missed having the all-terrain ATX like deep knobby performance in snow. So combining the studs with the ATX, I've been super happy with them. I never really talked about this too much, but I also got new sliders or new side steps. These are the Green Lane Off-Road Aluminum Steps. The biggest reason I upgraded to them was simply because of the previous steps I had were steel. One, they were super heavy, but two, they were rusting really badly. And they were painted, but it still went through the paint and rusted. But these aluminum sliders, way lighter weight, they might be not as protective maybe, but um, they look fantastic. And I really like the middle plate because before there was the risk of my legs slipping through and uh, now that doesn't happen. So the Tacoma is still doing awesome. I've been extremely happy driving it around this winter. We've uh, we've had a few decent snowstorms, and for now, I'm kind of on a pause of like camping and off-roading stuff. I've just been really focused in on snowboarding as much as I can. I really, really enjoy that as a winter activity. It's become quickly probably an obsession. I've got the setup in the back with the snowboard racks, just because I don't want the boards bouncing around, and when I go on longer drives out to the mountains, it's nice. Plus, I can carry more than one board if my friends are going with me. The only other exciting thing on the Tacoma as of recently has just been a new windshield. And if you live in Alberta, you know that during the winter months they use gravel and sand mixed with salt. There's just a whole mix of, of bad things for vehicles that they use in the winter. Those little gravel rocks and sand kick up and then cause windshields to get super chipped and cracked. So anyone that's ever seen my Tacoma before had always asked me like, why is your windshield cracked so badly? It's a very common thing here in Alberta actually if you've never experienced that. But I did finally get a new windshield that has been awesome. I very specifically planned it out because the cost of a new windshield nowadays is not as cheap as I remember it being. I knew I didn't want to have that problem again where it gets that bad. So I bought a new windshield and uh, I had heard of this thing called ExoShield for a while now and it's kind of like a paint protection film like you would use on the front of your bumper. You know the paint protection film I have on the Morimoto headlights and keeping those protected was important. Same thing with the windshield. I talked to my friends at the Posh Lab in Edmonton, planned it out, so I booked it at the windshield shop kind of close by, dropped it off at Posh for, for the day for them to do the install. Kind of got to hang out at the lab, which is always fun, and film a little bit of it. They did an amazing job, as always, on uh, on the truck. And the one thing I can 100% say is without a doubt, it's paid itself off. Right there is where a chip hit the exoshield and it didn't go through to the glass. From the trips to Lake Louise and Banff and driving to and from Edmonton, um, fairly frequently, little rock chips come up and you can see them and they make you flinch if you've ever experienced that. 
I've already had that happen now half a dozen times with the ExoShield and it's been over two months now since I got the new windshield and ExoShield. Not a single chip has made it through the ExoShield and not a single crack. 100% the windshield would have been cracked by now if I hadn't have gotten it. So that's pretty exciting. That's probably the only other new thing. I might possibly have some new wheels on order, but honestly, it's been like two months since I ordered them and I don't know what's going on if they're on their way. I, I emailed the shop a few weeks ago and they said it's still coming, so that'll be cool. Summertime will be a little different for the taco this year and I'm pretty excited for that actually. But for now, we're still got a couple months of winter and we're still in winter mode. new board that I've been riding for the last month or so. It's a Burton skeleton key. Super cool. Kind of has like a holographic skeleton on it. And it is a directional board. You can see the graphic on the bottom is sick. I love it. And this is my other set of grabbers. Same size, 285s, but without studs. And we're just waiting for the new wheels to come. These will be going on to the new wheels. I have the first gen deck drawers in the back here. Let's see if the snow has gone in them or not. Looks like it has not. Nice to see that the deck drawer, this is the version one, doesn't let snow into the drawers despite the conditions we've been having. We've had lots of snow, so don't really park outside for a long period of time, but just from driving around, there's been a bit of snow. It's nice to see that the drawers stay dry, no snow inside of them, even though there's snow up here. Let's check out the ammo cans, because those are not particularly waterproof. Looks pretty dry in there too. like literally only go in one way. Gotta use my other hand. I guess on that note, um, I don't love these deck drawers. I know a lot of people love them, but honestly, the deck drawers are probably the only thing I've ever been severely disappointed in. For the cost, 2000 Canadian, um, there just feels like it leaves a lot left to be desired. The drawer is only being able to come out to this length. I know everybody talks about it and they always like mention it, but the new version two doesn't have this problem. So much lost space up here. Like I can't even exaggerate how much space is up there. I usually keep the jet boils in there because they don't get brought out that often, usually once and then you're cooking with it but it's still super painful. Same with that one. I really don't like the fact that you lose all that space up there. And if you have other stuff in here, then you have to take that out in order to reach your arm up. And again, with this tailgate, you, you have to be like up here to reach in, not from back here, if you know what I mean. I also feel like there's just a lot of like missed opportunity or real estate, like all of the side section here. I know the version two is they made the drawer bigger, but still it takes up your whole back. So I guess in all honesty, I'm likely gonna get rid of the deck drawer soon and probably sell it and go back to using Pelican cases because they just organize easier, can take them out and you just lose your entire rear bed if you have a bed rack like I do. This whole setup is really nice, but it's just not perfect. So if you know anybody that wants to buy a deck drawer, message me because I'm probably gonna sell it. Music